Lots of kids who grow up in the Bronx would like to make it to the major leagues, but few ever do. This is the story of one boy who grew up in the Fordham section and is now an important part of Major League Baseball. Here are the umpires for today's game. Behind the plate, Jeff Kellogg. First base, John McSherry. Meet National League umpire John McSherry. This 50-year-old son of Irish immigrants grew up with his sister on Davidson Avenue, right off Fordham Road. McSherry is now working his 23rd baseball season. I would not change where I grew up um, for any reason in the world. I, I just think that uh, the atmosphere in the Bronx and in Tallentine and in the uh, city of New York at the time I grew up, it was a great conditioner for for what I ended up doing in the future and what everybody did. And friendships that were made then seem to have lasted longer. When I see my friends and my colleagues and umpiring, they all seem to, uh, you know, have kind of gone away. Uh, most of the people I knew are in the Bronx are still uh, connected with it, even if they don't live there anymore. Never a baseball player, McSherry umpired his first game in 1960 at Frankie Frisch Field on Webster Avenue. I worked all the parks in the Bronx, uh, Babe Ruth, McCombs Dan, Cortona, Harris, Van Cortland, all of them. It's an ability to uh, run a game and run yourself on the field, and, and that kind of blends in with, with everybody's different uh, persona, and I think you need to uh, work from your persona. McSherry has the perfect persona for an umpire. He's direct, definitive, and unemotional. So it's no wonder that he has risen to the top of his craft. What excites you about it is um, you are doing something that very few people can do, understand, and uh, you are part of an overall thing that affects a lot of people's lives. And there is a basic excitement to the game and to all sports. And if you don't feel that excitement, uh, then you're probably not a very good umpire and you're probably not part of it. The fact that you're on a field with um, Reggie Jackson or you're on a field with Stan Musial, that, that's, not, that's not really part of it. And, uh, that's a fan's thing. Boy, you get to meet all the players. Well, you know, the players get to meet us. And uh, that's the way we look at it. Having grown up in the Bronx and still proud of his roots, one distinct opinion that McSherry does have is about his borough's relationship to its home team the New York Yankees. I still feel part of the Bronx. I'm in the Bronx. I uh, eat at restaurants in the Bronx. I, uh, I exist in the Bronx. And uh, Yankee Stadium is a very identifiable thing with baseball and with the Bronx. Also, if it leaves, it's, it's really one of the last national identification things we have. And the Bronx is a much better borough now than it was 10 years ago. And uh, uh, Steinbrenner keeps painting that picture the wrong way, and I, I don't like that. So as the baseball strike draws nearer on this sunny day in Queens, there was some pride for the Bronx as hometown baseball star Bobby Bonilla and umpiring great John McSherry worked on the same turf. The borough, from what I can see, and I mean, I don't have facts and figures and all that, appears to be in far better shape than it was 10 years ago. There seems to be... Um, there seems to be more life to it. There seems to be people out. The roads seem to be better, um, you know. And hopefully I'm right, because it's a part of my life and probably will be all of, all of my life. As the game's last out was made, the Marlins celebrated their 2-0 victory while the Mets tried to figure out what went wrong. Bronxite John McSherry walked off the field unnoticed to get ready for his flight to bring a bit of the Bronx to another major league town. From Shea Stadium, Gary Axelbank for BXNY.